Hey there, Adam Brewer, Senior Technical Specialist at Microsoft covering security, compliance, and identity. And today, I'd like to show you a better way to do bring your own device. So let's back up a step. Bring your own device is the idea that you can, as an employee, bring your own device, a device that you personally own, like say your personal iPhone or Android device, and use it to get access to company resources, and most commonly, mail context calendars and cloud storage files. Now, usually if your company is like most companies, they've said, okay, that's fine, but you have to enroll your device first. Enrollment sounds kind of scary and it kind of is because it gives your company a tremendous amount of control over your device, including the ability to wipe everything on it and gives them visibility into things that are potentially uncomfortable as well. No, it doesn't give them access to read all your text messages or view all your web browsing history, but certainly there's more there than probably should be. And so there's a couple of interesting things that have been happening on this front. Apple and Google have been taking their platforms and restricting the amount of control that organizations can have on devices that don't belong to them. That's a great thing. And so for a lot of companies, if you're in IT and you're used to managing people's devices, well, guess what? A day is going to come when you can do less and less and less than you're accustomed to. That's great for users and honestly great for you too. But what if there's still a better way than managing the device altogether? What if we don't need to manage the device? After all, since most users just want mail contacts and calendars, what if we could just control the app and put the controls on the app? Well, we do that. We do that today with Microsoft Intune and a technology called App Protection Policies. This is a way you can deliver policy straight to an app, even on a device that's unmanaged. So a device can walk out of, let's say, the Apple Store, and a person in your organization can download the Microsoft Outlook app, sign in with their user ID and password, and hopefully MFA, and start to get their email. But as long as they get their email, they also get some policy controls on that application. Maybe be things that prevent things like cut, copy, and paste outside of corporate email or prevent attachments from moving to non-corporate resources. And you can do all this without managing the device. So for most people, why would you ever need to manage the device? Answer, you don't. So let me show that to you right now. This is Intune App Protection Policies. So here I'm in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager portal configuring my app protection policies. And I've got one already built and I'm just gonna hit you with the highlights. So I first pick which applications I wanna target. And by the way, I'd like to point out that there's a ton of competitive products in here. I see Box, Cisco, Jabber. Uh, of course, all of the Microsoft apps across the board. Uh, let's see, Citrix ShareFile, Tableau, Zoom, BlueJeans all sorts of competitors to Microsoft support Intune App Protection Policies. So truly not just a Microsoft technology. Now I can set a whole bunch of controls on applications, but I wanna call out a couple of highlights. I can restrict company data from only flowing to other apps that are also under policy management. I can ensure that my company data is not backed up to iCloud or to Google. I can ensure that cut, copy, and paste is only allowed to other policy managed apps. I can set a pin for access. I can set a timeout period. I can set conditional launch capabilities like you must be running iOS 14, you must not be jailbroken, your account must not be disabled. And if any of those things are true, we're either gonna block your access or wipe all of the data in the app. A lot of the same controls you rely on through MDM you don't actually need MDM to do. You can do it at just the application level and deliver that great user experience. So speaking of user experience, let's jump over to my iPhone and show you to that right now. So we're off and running on my iPhone. Here I've on my home screen. And what I'm gonna do first is dive into the Outlook app. Now, right when I try to sign in, you notice I get prompted for my biometric for Touch ID. This would also support Face ID if I had a newer iPhone, or I could enter my PIN. And you can also set requirements around when and how users can use biometric or when they have to use their PIN. So I'm going to scan my fingerprint here, and now I'm in Outlook app. Now, one thing I want to point out to you is I have access to both my personal Gmail account as well as my corporate account. 
what I'm going to do to start is I've got a message down here from Lydia that includes some budget information for the year. So I'm going to go into this email with the budget for the next four quarters, and I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. So we'll do a copy here. Now I'm going to try to open a new email and I'm going to paste that in there. Like you've probably done a million times paste and there it goes. No problem, right? Now, if I try to switch who I'm sending the message from, I get told I can't do that. Now, of course, maybe I'm really, really, really wanting to leak this information outside my company. So I'm going to try to trick it. I'm going to open a new email first. Then I'm going to switch my sender to my Gmail account. And now I'm going to try to paste that content. Aha ha. I get told I can't do that. This is multi-identity support right inside of the Outlook app that knows that that organizational data can't be pasted outside of organizational context. Now, what if I try to take this outside of Outlook? Here, I'm going to go to Apple Notes, and I'm going to create a new note. I'm going to try to paste it in here. Same experience. Because this app is not under policy management, I can't open or I can't paste the content in there. So now let's go back and try some of this with an attachment. So I've got a proposal here from Alex, and I'm going to tap on that proposal, and it's going to open in the, the iOS viewer initially, but I can kick it over to the Office app. So I'm going to tap on Open Office. And now the Office app is going to open up. Now notice that I'm allowed to do this because the Office app is under policy management as well as Outlook. So this is an allowed way I can move that attachment data, right? But if I had tried to, let's go back to Outlook here. If I had tried to take that Word document and send it to a not policy managed app, look what happens. Here's my iOS share sheet. Notice how it only shows Microsoft applications, other applications that also have policy applied. I can't put this in Google Drive or iCloud Drive or um, Dropbox. I have to use only the applications that are under policy management by my company. So it really keeps all of your company data inside of, if you will pardon the, the name, the circle of trust. So let's go back to that Office app where I had opened that attachment from my Outlook. Remember how I have some content on the clipboard with that budget information? Let's try to paste that here in this Word doc. Now this time, the paste worked. Why did it work this time? Because this is a corporate document in a corporate context, and I'm allowed to do cut, copy, and paste between applications, provided everybody's in the circle of trust, everyone's under policy management. So that's a super quick demo that shows you how you can apply policy at just the application level to keep all of your company data safe while not doing the big brothery type of MDM management that honestly no longer serves your companies or your employees' purposes. This is a way better solution for all of those BYOD scenarios, and I would encourage you to check out our documentation and try it out for yourself. That's it. That's Intune App Protection Policies, part of Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And I encourage you to try these out, and if they work for you, roll them out for all your BYOD use cases, your IT department, your help desk, and most importantly, your people will thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Like and share, and I will see you next week.